Welcome to this section in Mastering Elasticsearch 5.0 entitled Elasticsearch Backups. In this section, we start with a general overview of performing backups in Elasticsearch. We then move into the specifics of snapshots and repositories, which are the two things required to successfully perform backups in Elasticsearch. Welcome to this video entitled Overview of Backups. In this video, we will give a general overview of the backup process in Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch comes with a snapshot and restore module. This allows you to back up one or more indices or a complete cluster. To understand backups in Elasticsearch, we must understand the two primary components in the backup process, which are repositories, the registered location that houses snapshots, and snapshots which are the files that contain the data being backed up. Before the snapshot process can be run on Elasticsearch, we must first register a repository. Repositories are great for when you have many different snapshots to organize. Accordingly, you can have more than one repository registered. Registering a repository is a two-step process that includes updating the path.repo in Elasticsearch.yml configuration file. And once repository has been registered, we can go about creating different snapshots for backup purposes. Note that, as we will soon see, snapshots can be cluster-wide or designated for specific indices. A few quick notes on Elasticsearch backups. They are one-dimensional. By this, I mean that backing up your cluster is as much art as is science. For instance, since clusters come in different sizes with different read and write schemes, backup protocols differ. If you have a cluster that focuses on, let's say, historic time series data, you might want to set up a multi-part process to ensure the optimization of system resources. An example of such scheme is to create snapshots, delete old data, and by old data, I mean data that is no longer relevant. And finally, force merging any index that will no longer receive data, like the read-only indexes. It's important to note that depending on your objectives, the order of these processes may change. You may purge old data before creating snapshots, for example, because in the event of restoration, the old data won't be restored. This really is use case dependent. So it depends. And that concludes this video.